scale study, which is on page 26. Um, and what, when we're looking at the major scale study, we've, uh, we need to start with remembering that we uh, talked about melody, harmony, and accord, and um, that we're going to now um, work to where we identify what's made up of a chord. But first, we have to know the first step is major scale formula. And that's, that's what we're going to um, identify first. The major scale formula is used to identify the major scale. So um, when identifying the notes in a major scale, you must begin by understanding the difference between a whole step and a half step. So if we're looking at our, our guitar, you can see on the left, um, it says half step, and then it says whole step. And a half step shows from the second finger on the fourth string in the second fret to the third finger on the fourth string in the second uh, on the fourth string in the third fret. So we move from two to three like this. So if I was playing that, it would be like this. That's a half step. If I did a whole step and went from the second finger to the fourth finger, that's a whole step. There's a whole step. Now um, we can play this first step, half step. Um, the, sorry, the whole step, half step anywhere on the guitar. It, uh, the basic concept is moving a half step from the uh, second fret to the third fret or whatever fret that you're on moving up a half step which is one note difference. If we want to move back a half step we can do that we just go backwards so anytime we move up one note difference we're playing a half step change. If we want to do two half steps that's a whole step so we have two half steps if I went that's a whole step from this note to this note is a whole step so two half steps equals a whole step and that's all we're doing here. Now, if we're looking at, at the piano, we will see um, white keys and black keys. We don't have white keys and black keys on our guitar. We just have a whole bunch of notes. Um, and the difference between the white key and the black key is that uh, the black keys are sharps and flats. And the white keys are natural notes. So it's important when uh, learning how to understand a whole step and a half step and to be able to identify what those notes are, it's important that you know the difference between a sharp and a flat and then a natural note. So there's a difference between sharp or flat and a natural note, and that's what we need to understand. So when we, when we start talking about this, we're going to use um, the black and white keys on the piano to understand the difference. Um, so what's a sharp or a flat? It just basically means um, when, if you were to say a note like G and you went up to a black key, it would be G sharp. Um, and it, anytime it's a sharp, it's also a flat. And that means basically if we went from G, we went up a half step to G sharp, we could also go from A and go back a half step to A flat. So G sharp and A flat are the same thing. So whenever we talk about music, we use the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we start over at back again at A. So, and that can go indefinitely in, in regard to music. Um, and of course on a piano, it starts at a certain note and it ends at a certain note because we can only play a certain amount of notes um, on the piano. But um, what we will do is if we're looking at the sheet of paper, you have an F, it starts on an F and it ends on an E. And that's just because that's how much space we have on the page. So um, when we're finding notes of a major scale, we want to look at the piano. We want to first pick the key we'd like to know the major scale of. So we're going to start with the C major scale then we want to use the formula below to identify notes in the scale. And the formula below is the one on the bottom page, bottom of the page on 26. So you'll see the major scale formula now. It's made up of whole steps and half steps. And there's uh, the formula is two whole steps, half step, three whole steps, half step. So we can find any major scale by just identifying the key that we want to play. So if I picked C, we would just start with C. And um, we would do those whole steps and half steps in the order that has been declared by the major scale formula that we've we've been uh, we just learned okay so basically uh, that's what we'll do you, you'll have spaces down there and what I want you to do is write in that information as we talk about it so um, if we start with C then we're gonna go a whole step to D now um, I know where the where the C is on the guitar there's several places you can find C so I'm gonna show you on the guitar too but um, your piano there is a uh, is actually going to identify which ones are sharps and flats and which ones are natural notes and this guitar obviously won't so we're going to start with C and we're going to go up two half steps which equals a whole step so we have to go C to a whole step to D there's D now if you noticed on our piano we skipped the half step um, we, we did a half step from C to C sharp 
and then we did a half step from C sharp to D. So we, we went on top of the C sharp and then we moved past the C sharp to a D once we had two notes. So then from D, we have another whole step, so which means we gotta go two notes. So here's D and we move up to E, okay? So from D, if you look at your piano again on the page, um, you have D, we skipped a D sharp to an E. So we moved past D sharp and went to E. That's our, our whole step to, D, uh, to E. So now we have C, whole step to D, whole step to E. Then we went from E and we have to take a half step now because we did two whole steps and we said one half step in between um, that there. So we will take the E note and we're only going up one note. So we actually go up one note to an F. And if you're on the piano, um, you'll see that there's a natural note, E, and there's no black key between E and F. So that means that we go straight to F. There's no E sharp, there's no F flat. It's just F, okay? So, um, and just so you know, we're, we're gonna call everything sharp right now. Um, you have the option of calling it, you know, E sharp or F flat. I mean, obviously we don't have one here, but if I was gonna go to D, we could have the option of calling it D sharp or E flat, but that depends on which key we're in. If we're playing in the key of E flat, then we would use flats. But if we're, if we're playing in a natural um, key like D or E, or if we played in D sharp, we would just call them sharps because that's just the consistent way that we're doing it. So um, just know that when I say sharp, it could also be flat. Um, it could also be the flat note of the note above it. So like if we're on F sharp, it could also be G flat, but um, we're just gonna call it sharp so that we don't have to pay attention to that, um, to the flat part, okay? So we were at E and we went up a half step to F. Then we wanna go a whole step from F to G, which is F, F sharp, G. And you can see on your piano, it's F, half step to F sharp, then half step to G. Then we go another, uh, and that was the whole step. So we went whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Um, so we had C, D, E, F is the half step from E, and then we have a whole step from F to G. Then we're gonna do another whole step from G to what? G to A, okay, because we skipped a black key and we, well, we played a black key, that was a half step, and we moved from the black key back down to the A, and that's a whole step, because so, we had two half steps equals a whole step. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, and then you'll have another whole step, which is the third, um, well, it's the fifth whole step. We had, it's the fifth whole step in the scale, and the very last whole step. So we go from A, and there is a black key in between A and B, so we'll play A, A sharp, B, that's the next note. And then from there, we have a B, and we should just have to do a half step, and we wanna end up on the same note we started on, so we actually go from B to C. Again, there's no black keys in between B and C, and so we will um, just skip, the. there's no black key, so we would just go straight a half step to C. So if I was to play the notes on the guitar, it would sound like this. C, whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, whole, and then half step to C. And ideally what we wanna end on is the same note that we started on. So we had C down here, and we had a C up here. And that's actually an octave, so that's, a, that's how that works. So there's eight notes in the scale, the eighth note being the note that we started on. Um, so we'd have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And there's no sharps or flats in that key, So uh, and we'll have one here in a minute that we'll have sharps and flats in, and I'll explain that, um, how that works. Um, so what we found out when we just uh, did the major scale study is that we have a couple things we need to know. We need to know that music is made up of half steps and whole steps, that there are sharps and flats in between our notes, and that actually there are no sharps or flats between B and C and E and F, and that's another thing. So we need to remember that there's no sharps or flats between B and C and E and F, but there is between everything else. And then we want to use our major scale formula, which is two holes and a half, three holes and a half. So when I say holes, I just mean whole steps. So we have two whole steps, a half step, three whole steps, and a half step. And we should end up back on the major scale, the key that we chose. So now that we have the major scale formula, we choose our key, and that's how we find the notes in the major scale. So that's, that's three or four steps, and then we're on to the next page, which is page 27.